together. Put them hands together. Put them hands together. Give God some praise up in here. Give God some praise up in here. God been good to us. He been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Come on, let's shout hallelujah. Come on, let's shout hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise. Just a little bit of praise. Come on, just give him a little bit, little bit of praise this morning. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, I don't know where I would be today. But grace and mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say he's worthy yes. to be praised. Yes, sir. Praise, yes. God is good. Hallelujah. Isn't he? Yes, he is. Hallelujah. We welcome everybody to Thank you, Jesus. Sweet Haven. Number one and number three, we thank you for taking out time out your busy schedule to come and be a part 
of our service on this morning. I say happy 4th of July to everyone. And somebody said, well, I can't go today because we're having a cookout. And we got to celebrate our Independence Day. And we have to do this. We have to do that. But I'm letting you know, I'm serving notice that people are still dying on 4th of July. Yes. That's right. Mm. Amen. So we got to give God the praise. Mm -hmm. He the one that woke us up this morning. Yes. The old folks say, started me on my way. Yes. Able to walk on this green carpet and the blood still running warm in my veins. Yes. And for that reason, Lord, I'm going to say, I'm going to church on this morning. Amen. Might not be Sue Haven, but I'm going to somebody's church and give God just yes. a little bit yes. of praise. Because yes. I yes. feel like praising the Lord yes. today. Hallelujah. God has been good to me. I look yes. around and see where God has brought me from. Yes. He brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light. I'm so glad the Lord saved me yes. at this time. Our service is called to order. At this time, we're going to have a song by the choir, followed by a prayer from Brother LaDon Humphrey. And our scripture will be coming from our chairman of our deacon board, Deacon Frank Matthews. At this time, our service is called to order. Amen. Yes. Thank you. Not my brother. Not my sister, not my brother, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Not my sister, not my sister, not my brother, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Not the doctor, not the lawyer. Not the doctor, not the lawyer, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Not the doctor, not the lawyer, but it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. Standing in the need of prayer. Good morning, Sweet Haven. Good morning. Let's bow our head as we pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for the day. Thank you for watching over us last night, yes. oh, Heavenly Father. Thank you for waking us up this morning, oh God. Thank you for just being an awesome God. A God that has never lost a case, oh Heavenly Father. A chief physician, oh God. Yes. You're everything that we need you to be, oh God. You're a deliverer. You're a healer. Yes. You're a sustainer. Thank you, Lord. you are light in darkness, oh God. Yes. You are everything that we, we can lean on, God. You're our leaning post, oh Heavenly Father. We, we come here this morning to give you a praise, oh God. Yes, to Lord. honor your name, oh God, yes. for you are worthy, oh God. Yes. Your word still is fresh as the morning dew, oh God. God, fresh as a newspaper, a newspaper, yes. oh God, you, you're still, you're still on the throne, oh God, you're yes, still watching God. over us, oh Heavenly yes. Father, you're still doing everything you said you would do, oh God, and we come this morning saying thank you, 
Thank you for your power, oh Heavenly Father. Thank you for thinking about us. Your word said, who is man that you're so mindful of? So thank you, God, for thinking about us, oh Heavenly Father. Thank you for leaving your comforter, oh God. When you passed, you left the Holy Spirit to dwell with us, oh God. And we say thank you for that, God. You're so, you're so thinking about us all the time, oh Heavenly Father. Thank you. You're better to us than we have been to ourselves, oh God. And we're just going to ask today, oh Heavenly Father, that you come and sit in this service, oh Heavenly Father. Your word says if two or three are gathered in your name, you should be in the midst, oh Heavenly Father. And we're going to, we promise to give you the spirit and the truth of praise that yes. you require, oh Thank Heavenly you. Father, that you could come and change someone today, oh Heavenly Father. You could come and heal somebody today, oh Heavenly Father, that you could let someone know that they're not by themselves, oh Heavenly Father, but you are a friend that sticks closer than a brother, oh Heavenly yes. Father. So we just come to give your name the, the praise that it deserves this morning, oh Heavenly Father. Come and sit in our service with us, oh God. Let the, let the Holy Spirit come in like a mighty rushing wind, oh Heavenly Father, and heal someone and deliver someone, oh God, and do what your word has is, been made to do, oh Heavenly Father. Come and sit with us, oh God. Come and sit with us, oh God. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Come and sit with us, oh Heavenly Father. Bring your Holy Spirit into this place, oh Heavenly Father. So the preacher of the hour may preach under the power of the Holy Spirit, oh God. Someone may be delivered today, oh Heavenly Father. Someone may realize the way that they're going is wrong and they, and they want to give you, you their, uh, their lives, oh Heavenly Father. We decree and declare that someone will get saved today, oh God. Yes, yes, yes oh God, because yes. the business of Jesus Christ is to save yes. and heal the people, oh Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. Oh, thank you. And forgive us for our sins, oh God. Forgive us, forgive us for the things yes. that we do that's unpleasing to you, oh God. Yes, Your word yes, says, yes. woe to the man that scatters the flock, oh yes, Heavenly Lord. Father. Let us be, be a beacon, a, yes. a light to the people who are lost, oh God. Let us do what you have required us to do, God, to be a gatherer and not a scatterer, oh, Heavenly Father. Yes. Let us let, let you look down on us and you be pleased with our doings, oh, Heavenly Father. Cleanse us, oh, God. Cleanse us. Give us the right mind to do your business, oh, God. Oh, Heavenly Father, cleanse our hands, oh, God, that we can do your will. Let us be more sensitive to your will, oh, God. Oh, God, let us be more sensitive to what you want us to do and not what we want to do, oh, God. Yes. Let us grow in your word, oh God. Yes, Lord. Let us read your word, oh God, and not be yes. hearers, but doers of your word, oh God. Yes. All of the yes. words, not yes. just some of it, all of it. David said in his word that I've hid the word in my heart that I might not sin, oh God. Let us hide it in our hearts, oh God. Let us love one another, oh God. Let us be who you said that we are, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. want to thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
Thank you. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. been so good, Lord. God, you've been good to us. God, we thank you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We will allow the saints to, to come in. I give honor to my pastor and bishop. Bishop Johnson, our first lady, man. Oh, man, I'm just glad to be here. How many of y'all glad to be here today? Amen. Hallelujah. God is good to us. Thank you, Jesus. Oh man, we serve an awesome God. Awesome. Yes, yes, we do. We serve an awesome yes. God. Awesome God. Yeah. Amen. Awesome. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Awesome. He loves us, man. Uh, I just thank him today. Amen. Right. Amen. We said we get ready to celebrate today is the 4th of July, right? Yes. We celebrate independence. Yes. But the greatest independence is what Jesus gives. Yes. Amen. Freedom. Yes. Amen. Yes. You can't have freedom unless you got Jesus. Amen. I know I'm here to do the scripture today. Amen. But I'm glad to be here. Amen. God has blessed me. Not only blessed me, he blessed my family. And my church family. And I'm just thankful for that today. Amen. Amen. Today is first Sunday. First Sunday. This Sunday we do communion. Amen. And we thank God. I'm Read the scripture from John, the sixth chapter, the 53rd verse. I'm going to read to the 58th verse. <clears throat> Jesus said to them, Verdi, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, <clears throat> you have no life in you. Whoever, whosoever eats my flesh and drink my blood has eternal life. And I will raise them up in the last day. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Whosoever eat my flesh and drink my blood remains in me and I in them. But just as the living Father sent me and I will live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. <clears throat> this is the bread that came down from heaven. Your ancestors ate man and died. But whosoever feed on this bread will live forever. Now I read from John, the sixth chapter, the uh, 53rd to the 58th verse. May the Lord add a blessing to his reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Digger Matthews, for that scripture. Thank you, Brother Humphrey, for that powerful prayer. Amen. Felt like he went on up in the third heaven there. Well, it's something when the Holy Ghost, when the anointing comes. Somebody said the anointing makes a difference in your life. Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Huh? If it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? Huh? But God is good. He just, he just wakes us up and we... We don't, we don't, we don't, sometimes we don't even deserve his goodness. And he's just a good God. He just keep on keeping on. Sometimes I just, I, 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 sometimes, have you ever been so sick that you don't know if you're going to live or die? Huh? And God just reached down and, 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 and just, just put the angels around you and said, it's not your time. Said, no, 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 you got some more work to do. You got something else to do. You know, sometimes we don't do everything we supposed to, and sometimes we, we that that little that little wheel get to turn and the devil say, you know, you 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 come on, come on now, you can do this, and you say, no, 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 no. Say God been too good to me, God been too good to me now. So devil, you just better go ahead on vacation and leave me alone, cause I I'm not gonna listen to you this morning. Say God's gonna give me back everything that you try to take from me. Come on, let's show hallelujah. Come on and show hallelujah. See, the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. But God says, my will that you prosper as your soul prosper and be in good health. Good God Almighty. That's the word of God. That's not me speaking. That's the word speaking. 
Amen. I just thank God. How many feel good today? How many feel good? Not because it's 4th of July, because you came in here and, and, and came and sat down. Amen. How many wake up in the morning and when you, when you realize you, you woke, you said, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. You didn't wake yourself up. You didn't hear the rooster say, ah, ah, ah. Well, the clock didn't go off to say snooze a little bit and all that. You know, God said, get up. God so mighty. I'm telling you, boy, God is something there. You want to play with something, you go there and Kmart and get you a toy. But don't play with God, because he ain't nothing to play with. Huh? Hey, man, how many ready to have praise and worship? How many ready to have service? How many feel like getting a shot on? How many give? How many feel like giving God some praise? Why? Because he's worthy. He's worthy. Good God Almighty. Amen. This dynamic choir, Simahami, me, Paul in the valley. They ready to get off this morning. Amen. They go, if you ain't woke, they're gonna wake you up. Huh? If you if you sit down, they're gonna make you get up. Huh? Come on and shout hallelujah. Come on, say Saint Qua. Come on, say Saint Qua. You know, we got Bishop on the keyboard and we got Minister Burt on the organ. Huh? And we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're Lord help us. I just can't wait to get this praise and worship going because I know somebody want to shout. Somebody, I know Deacon Brother Woods, Chairman of our Deacon Boy, he might run around the church. I don't know what's about to happen here this morning. Y'all in for a treat. Come on, it's your hallelujah. hallelujah. See, that man crazy. No, I ain't. I got good sense. How many of y'all that know who God is? How many know who God is? Just raise your hand. If you know who God is. Everybody, you are God. You are God. Right by yourself. You are God. You are God. I confess you. You are God. Lord, I adore you. You are God. You are God. You are God. Yeah, right by yourself. You are God. You are God. You don't need nobody else. You're half an and omega. You are God. Begin and ever end. You are God. You're the first and the last God. You are God. You are God. You're half an and omega. You are God. Begin and ever end. You are God. First and the last. You are God. You don't need nobody else. You are God. You are God. You are God. You are God. Yeah. You are God. Yeah. Nasty. You are God. Said holy. You are God. Hey, come on, put your hand together. You are God. Oh, 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 oh. You are God. Everybody say you are God. You are God. You woke me up this morning. You are God. Started me on my way. You are God. Alpha and Omega. Ain't that the end? 
first and the last. You are God, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, beginning and the end. First and the last, first and the last, God. You are God, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. The first and the last God, you are 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 God. Come on, put them hands together. smile on you. He's blessed your family. Some of your moms and dad may have been sick, but God has been good to you. Every time I think about how good God is, I just want to praise him. Are y'all like me? Sister, with the pretty purple hair. Mother. What's her name? Yeah. Sister Wilkins used to have a song that, not mother, but sometimes you've been out of church so long. Ella Ravel said a couple of Sundays ago, 
some of us have dropped the ball. You may have not wanted to drop it, but because you weren't in fellowship, you may want to ask God to just search me, cleanse me, put your anointing on me. Search me and cleanse me, put your anointing on me. Search me, cleanse me, put your anointing on me. So that I can do what you want me to do. <laughs> so that I can do what you want me to do. The devil wants to keep you bound. He wants you to think that, well, you didn't do so good yesterday. You start cussing. Well, you got to say, Lord, search me, cleanse me, put your anointing on me. Search me, cleanse me, and put your anointing on me. One more time. Search me, cleanse me, put your anointing on me, on me, so that I can do what you want me to do. God has called somebody to preach so that I can do what you want me to do. Somebody has called somebody to missionary so that I can do what you want me to do. Now, I gotta clean up what I messed up. Help me. Start my back to the church y'all and I'm gonna walk right through the door I'm gonna clean, clean up. up yeah yeah what I mess yeah, yeah 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 start my life over again yeah I gotta clean up yeah what I messed up I gotta start my life over I gotta start my life over. Start my life over again. You know what, y'all? I can't blame nobody for my failures. Start my life over I messed up. Again. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Yeah. I gotta do it for myself. I gotta do it for myself, y'all. Yes. hands together. Come on, put your hands together like you love the Lord. If the Lord has delivered you, put your hands together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All over again. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah! God is good, isn't he? Yes, yes, he is. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, sometimes, sometimes when you, 
when, when, when you done messed up and all of us, all of us at, at some time in our life have messed up. You ain't got to say amen. amen. But but I know that 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 we in this flesh, we have a tendency to mess up. <laughs> we have a tendency to mess up. Huh? But you know that 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 when we when you see the devil don't mess with you while you in the church. The devil messes with you when you get alone in your car, on your job. Huh? And and you trying to you trying to get your, your praise on and he'll come. Huh? But I, I me personally, me personally, and this is me. You know, sometimes I, I I sit in my garage. I don't have a porch in the front of my house, so I call the garage my my porch. I sit in my porch, and sometimes I say, "While I'm there here praying, Lord, search my heart." While I'm down here praying, Lord, touch my heart. While I'm down here praying, Lord, search my heart. I'm about crying then. I said, you know, Lord, well, I'm right. I said, you know, Lord, <laughs> well, I'm wrong. I said, you know, Lord, well, the, well, the, well, I'm right, I'm wrong. My wife for we left home. I said, you know what? I was thinking about Bishop. I was praying for him. And I said, honey, I said, Bishop is such a good man. I said, he's such a good man. I ain't trying to wait till he die and come here in the church fill up and people all over here crying and snotting and all that. But I'm giving his flowers why why he can smell them. We got a we got a jewel of a pastor, y'all. I'm not saying because he's my brother. I'm not saying because we blood, but I'm saying it because it's the truth. Bishop N.C. Johnson is a good man. My daddy was a good man. 
<laughs> but Bishop goes out of his way to do things for people. He goes out of his way to try to bless you. He goes out of his way. Only thing you got to do is say, uh, he said, how you doing financially? And you said, well, 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 here, here go $50, here go $100. I, I mean, that's all the time. I told my wife this morning, I said, God got to bless him financially. I said, God has to bless him financially because he do so much. And sometimes people don't understand why he do what he do, but he do what he do because he love you. Deacon Matthew said, I'm blessed. He said, I'm blessed. That's what you said. You said, I'm blessed. That's why I'm happy, because I'm blessed. Good Lord, good Lord. Amen. 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 It's getting time for the word. Amen. Bishop, you are coming. Amen. Bishop, you ready to come at this time and bring us to the word. We're going to tell everyone to stand and receive our pastor and bishop. I don't know if you're going to sing another song. <laughs> the more I sing, the less I have to preach. Uh oh. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Oh. I'm blessed. Show no I'm blessed. Do it again one more time. Just the chorus. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. As I look around. As I look around me, I realize. I realize. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Somebody shout glory. glory. Come on and shout glory again. Glory. Come on, just surrender to the Lord. Put your hands up and say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Lord, I magnify you. Lord, I, I lift your name above your name all above. the earth. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, get in your little space. Say, thank you, Jesus. Stop looking at other folks. Say, thank you, Jesus. You've been so good to me. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise your name. We glorify your name. Somebody say, Jesus. Come on, do it like I do. Say, Jesus. Say, Jesus. We thank you. Lord, forgive us of all of our sins. Forgive us, Lord, of our trespasses. Give us, Lord, for everything. Anoint us now in the name of Jesus. Now call that name Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you. Before you sit down, just give yourselves a big hug. Come on. Give yourselves a big hug. Hallelujah. God is here and he loves you and he's here to take care of you. You mean you got to be seated. You may be seated. Hallelujah. I am happy to be standing with you here today. It seems like the older I get, the more I feel like I'm slowing down. I've seen some people my age still working and pulling and cutting grass. Amen. But it seems like when I get out there, I've never liked hard work no way. So, so it may not be all sickness. It may just be laziness. I remember when we came up as children, my daddy would say, we go and set out them sweet potato plants. How many of y'all know what sweet potato plants are? Lord have mercy. Y'all don't even know what sweet potato plants are. He had to dig the, the row first. And after he ridge it up, it looked like a triangle coming down. And he would take his prown hole and go down and make a hole in the dirt that's standing there. And he'll put one here and one there and one there. And that's all he had to do. And after which he would come back and he'll drop the sweet potato plant right beside that hole. 
I had, Leonard have our cages and Yvonne, Loretta, we had to put the sweet potato plant in the hole and then take dirt and put it all around it. <laughs> Call it planting the sweet potato plant. My problem is that every time I went from one end of the row all the way back to the other, before I could get back, I had this funny feeling in my hands. I didn't like that dirt on my hands. I had to go wash my hands. Yeah. Every time I finished the row, I had to come back. My daddy would ask me, where, where are you going? I got to go wash my hands, daddy. You better get out there. <laughs> Setting them sweet potato plants out there. My brothers always tease me about that. and You know, life has just presented us so many ups and downs. And, and I see how my dad and mom struggled to, to raise us. Didn't have much. Uh, come on a Sunday and raise $8. If they raise $8. Sometimes $5.40. We've come a long way. I was sharing with Sharon my wife and my sister Yvonne over the phone I don't really know how we made it you can sit out there today but I remember a time when I was I just got married 18 and 19 and Sharon and I had a baby on the way and I told daddy I was going to marry her see some men mess up and impregnate girls and then they don't want to marry them they said well it was just a mistake well, I know we're living in a different day, but some of these values we need to keep. Y'all ain't hear what I just said. So, some of these values make you a good person. The old things that mom and daddy taught us, and I didn't understand it, and he said, you're going to marry that girl. <laughs> well, I'll try to be a man then. Oh, I'm married, dad. I know I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm in love. But don't you know you can get infatuated before you know you done married the wrong person? Amen. But I thank God again that uh, uh, I was able to share and took me as her husband. And we were working. I was working in the shipyard. Before then, I was making a dollar and 40 some cents, I think, an hour. You work the whole week, 40 hours. And we used to bring home like $65. And Dick and Matthew, I mean, Dick and Holloway, so he used to work the whole week and bring home $25. Oh, Jesus, I want y'all to think about that. Work the whole week on, and make 60 some dollars. And then they take taxes out of that. <laughs> <laughs> that meant we had to pay rent. We had to buy food. We had to pay for a car. We had to pay for hospitalization. We had to pay for life insurance. Had to pay the babysitter. Look how blessed we are now. Look, look, look how somebody hasn't had, they haven't caught it yet, honey. We are making more than we've ever made in our lives now. And people thinking that seven dollars and fifty cents is a good wage, honey. We need to push that up to twenty dollars an hour. If you want folk to start living decent, they need to pay folk. Instead of giving them a whole bunch of money and they spend it up because they got six children or five children, and all that money's going to be gone pretty soon, but they should have put up the wages. $20 an hour. So you had to go work for that $20 an hour. Everybody may not agree. You give me a whole bunch of money, I'm going to just sit at home. Why have I got to work? Think about it. The man who's got a million dollars, he don't need, he doesn't need a job. And some of the women when men, men and women, when they get that money, they feel like I don't need, I got a thousand some dollars in the bank. I ain't going to work today. But if they had put up the wage, $17 an hour or $20 an hour, people would have to get up and go to work. The Bible said if you don't work, you don't eat. That's what's wrong. We strayed away from the Bible. Today is 4th of July. And normally, I take the time to uh, do a message and write it down. But for some reason today, I just feel 
in my spirit, victory. And, and, and I don't, I, the word is here. The word ha, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin. And one of the things I want to know, do you have victory over your flesh? Victory over your flesh. How many of y'all, how many of y'all tussle a battle with your flesh? You don't have to put your hands up. If, 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 if you're sitting here today, we need to start having victory over that thing that makes us want to do what we don't want to do. Paul said in Romans, he said, when I, I desire to do good, evil is always present. The longer we keep the door shut at home and people say, oh, I'll just look at the church services over the Zoom and oh, I'll just look at it on Facebook. But it's not like coming here, amen, into the sanctuary. Church should be packed today. Folk ain't stunning nobody, no COVID at the, at, at the beach. They all on one another. Come on, somebody, help me. At least I can get to church and spend one hour before I go to the beach. Lord's been good to me. Every day I feel like I'm dying. Every day I feel like I'm, my heart is starting to give away. I, uh, uh, the first little work I do, I'm tired. I can I say, oh, Lord, have the same things that happened to my mom is happened to me. Chronic heart disease. God is saying that I got to give you in your flesh. Your flesh is talking to you, saying you're tired. He says you got to get up and walk. You got to start eating right. You got too much weight on you. You want me to do everything for you. You need to have some victory. Over your flesh. I, 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 sometimes I envy my wife. She constantly, every morning, she's getting up at five thirty or six o'clock, putting on her jogging suit, and she fix her hair and she put makeup on. And where you going? I'm going to walk. What are you doing all that for then? Are you really going to walk? <laughs> I know what I wait. I wait till she get home and I'm going to see if her clothes are a little damp. I'm going to see if her, her sweater is a little damp. Oh, y'all ain't heard what I'm talking about. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. The flesh tell you, oh, she must be cheating. Or she must be having some getting up 5.30 in the morning walking. Hey, Amen. The devil talks to you just like he talks to me. Y'all ain't got to say amen. I, I, I know I'm telling the truth. Amen. If you're saying you're saved and you love God, you're going to fight that devil. He's going to always attack you. Amen. Your husband might not be doing nothing wrong or your wife may not be doing but he'll put stuff in your mind. Put it in your mind. Somebody said victory over my flesh. And Bishop, well, uh, I don't know, but I don't mean to do it. I, I don't mean to not trust her. I don't mean to not trust him. Yeah. But the enemy doesn't care. You know what scripture says? The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil is like a tick. How many heard a tick? <laughs> I didn't say big. I said a tick. A tick is a little insect that gets on you, and now they look like they're getting small and smaller. When I came up, there were big ticks, and you could see them on you. But now these little ticks get on you, and they get into your skin, and they just suck on your skin, or on your arm, or on your leg. And before you know it, you're scratching, and you wonder why, why am I scratching? I was out there in the grass today. You think I got a tick on me? 
And the first thing you do, you try to pull it out. But you got, there's a technique in trying to pull that tick. Come on, say amen. Because if you don't pull it out properly, you'll leave the head of the tick in your skin and it causes you to inflame. The devil is just like a tick. Small things get you upset. You have no control of your flesh. I need it and I need it now. I've been 16. I've been 21. I've been 35. I've been 46. I've been 58. I've been 69. I'm going to stop on that one. The enemy comes and he'll take control of your mind. Oh man, child, she's 80 something. Uh, still, there is some smoke in the chimney. She needs victory over her flesh. Flesh is a mess. That's what we fight against. We don't fight against every morning somebody coming in the house with a gun and, and, and brass knuckles. We fight against that thing that's on the inside of us. The stuff that's saying, oh, you need it, you need it. Whether it be drugs, power, money, sex. Victory over my flesh. I've got to ask God to give me victory. The bad thoughts I have. The animosity that I have against that person and they don't even know I'm mad with them. It's sad when sisters can't get along. It's sad when brothers can't get along. It's sad when mothers and fathers, amen, can't get along. And the children are looking at you. You need some victory over that thing. Somebody say victory over my flesh. The question is, what is the remedy? What, 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 is, what is the remedy? Well, first of all, the medicine you have to take is the word of God. <clears throat> now, if I ask you, put your hands up, how many people have read your Bible this week? You'll be surprised how many folk have not read your word. David said, the word have I hid in my heart that I, what? Might not. That's a key word. Underline that word, might not. might not. Bishop has got the word in me. Listen to this. Bishop has got the word in me, but I still struggle with my flesh. He knows some things that I like <clears throat> doing that it may not be uh, 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 profitable for my spiritual soul. But he thrives on it. It's the word that's going to help you get cleaned. You hear me sing a song? I got to clean up. I don't know where y'all minds be when I'll be singing like that. And you said, Bishop, so say he must have messed up. It ain't always the big stuff you do. Ain't going out fornicating and committing adultery. It's not all the big things or kill somebody. But it's a little fox that spoils the vine. Just the thought of something. And you dwell on that thought, and you dwell on it, and you dwell on it. When are you going to ever forget it? <clears throat> you can't forget it, but you can forgive it. Somebody say, forgive it. Start doing better. You got to start doing better. You got to work at it. To lose weight, you got to gotta, you gotta work at it. I know I say, no, I'm going to lose my stomach. I'm going to lose my stomach. Or to do some setup. No, you get a hern, you keep doing your age like that. You're going to pull up. And, you, you, and every time I need to go walking, oh, Lord, now it's raining. I can't go. <clears throat> it's just too early in the morning to get up out of this good bed. I'm going to put my head under cover. And God is saying in the spirit, you need to get up and walk. You need to get up and pray. Sometimes I see Deacon Matthews there. I got to beat him here for noonday prayer. 
And then all of a sudden, the flesh made me forget all about noonday prayer. And I drive by the church, and I see, Lord, there's a deacon at the church. Lord, I spoke men at noonday prayer today. See the battles that I have? The stuff that's worrying me? The frustrations that I have? I'm frustrated with church folk. But I can't show church folk that I'm frustrated. And as soon as somebody says, Bishop is dead, then a whole bunch of folk come crying and snotting. Oh, he was a good guy. Like my brother just said a few minutes ago. People don't miss you until you go. Can I say that again? Some of the closest folk beside you, they, they, they're the close to you. They don't miss you until you're gone. But the devil will have that person, Sister Mitchell. If you don't have it, the devil will talk to you. He'll talk to me. He'll talk to all of us. We're not exempt from the devil talking to us. But greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. The devil represents our flesh. Paul said there's no good thing in it. And that's how he talks to our mind. Church, wake up. You can have some victory in your flesh. He said, listen, I put this thing in you so that you have choices. God made us this way. I want to say that clearly. God made evil. Yes, God created evil. It tells you that in the word of God. God created evil. And he created all these things. Why did he create evil? So that we would have a choice. So that you can choose either right or wrong. Choose you this day who you will serve. And when you serve somebody and when you go on to work, you don't try to be cheating on your job because you're serving that guy. He says, come in and be my news collector or be my uh, uh, carpenter or be whatever you are. Amen. Then you need to give a full day's work. You don't just go to work and then go to sleep and down in a hole somewhere. You're going to get caught one day. Be honest. When I play golf, when I play golf, it's important that you don't move the ball. You can be down in the valley somewhere. The rule is don't move it, don't touch it. But you know what? When you're trying to win, oh, y'all ain't heard what I just said then. When, when you're really trying to win and the guy's talking stuff to you and you hit the ball in the, in, in the valley, some tell you, go and pick it up. Nobody see you. That's how life is. You are filled with making decisions. I'm going to close. I think y'all got the message. Victory in your flesh. Start having some victories. I'm not going to give in. My boyfriend is, my girlfriend is at me. She's, she wore this dress the other night, and, and Lord have mercy. I remember coming up with Sharon. They didn't have a little short dress like they got now. But I used to love to see her on that little short dress back then. They had little mini dresses back then in the 70s. And I used to see her walking in there. And I said, oh, Lord, how mercy. <laughs> Girl, you are mine. But we were made for each other. You are mine forever. You're mine. Y'all heard of some of the OJs? We were meant for each other. I like what you like. You like what I like. That's how. Them, that's how. They, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Bishop, what are you trying to tell to us? We've been where you've been. And I don't care how old you get. If God made you a woman, you should be attracted to men. And if God has made you a man, you should be attracted to women. So there's nothing wrong. But there is a certain limit you go. Everybody just shake your head if you think I'm telling the truth. 
you have to have temperance. Bishop, what is temperance? In the old sanctified church, Bishop, the preacher used to tell, don't you touch, don't you touch no unclean thing. And you got to be saved and sanctified and filled. So coming up, all we've been taught, you got to be saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm trying to teach folk, amen, the, the, root, the, the root of the matter is that he put this thing in us. But because it's in us, we have to be able to control that thing that's in us. One scripture says the spirit is subject to the prophet. That Holy Spirit is there to warn you. The Holy Spirit is a gentleman. It won't make you do nothing. You got to be obedient to the spirit. The Bible says walk after the spirit and not after your flesh. Is that Bible? Okay, Bishop, I understand what you say. I'm going to start this week. No, I'm going to start right from right now. Because sometimes, sometimes you sit in church and the devil will say, I should be glad when he finished. Be glad when he sit down. And my daddy, when he used to preach, he started preaching about fornicating, committing adultery. I'd be like almost going down in the seat. And he'll say, oh, and I hit the organ. Let's push him, push him so he can hurry up and get off that subject. Huh? Y'all know what Timothy Wright said? I've been there and done that. I won't go back no more. Oh. So some of the issues that y'all going through and some of the issues that you're going through right now. Hey Amen. Sharon, I've been married 53 years this month. 53 years. And we've had to have some downs and we've had some victories. But we're still here. Amen. God bless you. I pray that God will bless you. And listen, this message is not to condemn you. This message is just this morning. It's just a nugget for you to take home this week. Saying, Bishop told me I gotta start having some victories in my flesh. I'm just I'm just gonna hold wild after my flesh. I'm gonna do anything I wanna do when I want it and all that. But you gotta say no devil. Because in the midst of your mess, you could die. And the scripture says in Revelations, if you die dirty, you're going to wake up dirty. But he's going to give you a spiritual body. And then he's going to judge you for what you've done. And if you weren't right, you're going to spend eternity in the lake of fire with the devil and his angels. Revelations chapter 21. Read it. It's there. Bow your heads. Most gracious God, we thank you for this time of sharing the word. Continue to give these, your people, victories over their flesh. Help them to stand. Help them to live holy. None of us are perfect, but we need to start working hard at being perfect. Create in us a clean heart. Renew the right spirit in us. And if you do that, we're going to give you the praise. We're going to give you glory. We're going to give you the honor. In Jesus' name, thank God. There's an old song <clears throat> that goes, oh, Amen. Thank God for God's grace. 
That's right. Thank God for God's grace. If it wasn't for God's grace, I wouldn't be here standing, preaching to you all today. Amen. If you're not saved today and you know that, Lord, I might have messed up. I, I've done some things that I shouldn't have done. Amen. Won't you just slip your hands up? Won't you, you don't have to come to the altar. Just slip your hands up and say, Lord, let your grace cover me. Amen. Come on. Just don't be bashful. Just put your hands and say, Lord, let your grace cover me. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my shortcomings. Forgive me, God. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory. Come on, say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And if you really mean it, he will forgive you. He'll forgive you if you mean it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But now, I see. Through many, through many, Let me say stand on your feet and have me sing it. Praise God. 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 Oh yeah. Praise God. Lord have mercy. God bless you. God bless you. You may be seated. It's five minutes after the 12, 15 after the 12. Amen. We're doing good. Thank you so much. Amen. For being with us on today. And the Lord has truly blessed us uh, in this service. I'm so happy. Amen. And thankful that you were able to come and be with us on today. Look, the message today was given for purpose. Amen. Given for a purpose. Uh, my oldest girl, Michelle, uh, uh, is 53, 52 years old. 50. <laughs> um, uh, my youngest daughter is around 48, I believe. So you can see that Sharon and I are moving on up. We're getting older every day. Bishop, what are you telling me on all that? We tried raising our children, and we tried to nurture them in the way of the Lord. But you can't make your children do anything. Can, can I say that again? You can't make your children do anything. The thing that you have to remember is that I've got to continue to be that good example and we came up in church, amen. You know I'm talking about this must be uh, Deacon Mitchell's daughter. Am I right? Now, you know I'm telling the truth. If you were raised in the Pentecostal church, amen, they made you be saved. <laughs> amen. That, that was just a must. You can't do this, you can't wear that, and that's it. Then you went to church every Sunday, and you stayed there all day. Children, y'all got it made now. We're living in a new generation. And the Lord has now made it so that you all today make choices. And children, 
See that? See that group of kids right there? That's what we're missing in the church. So y'all need to hurry up and get married and have some babies. I ain't talking about Bro Wood. I ain't talking. I ain't talking about Deacon Holloway sitting on the front. Amen. But we've got to get some young people in this church. Without young people, the church dies. Y'all heard what I just said, man? Without young people, the church dies. So, with that, with that in mind, next Sunday, I need y'all to bring a youth with you. Amen. We know it's not for Sunday, but I need you to bring some young people or one young person with you on next Sunday to our service. Now, it's offering time, amen, very quickly, so I won't take up too much of your time. Amen. We want you to prepare yourselves to give God an offering. Amen. Y'all know what? During, during the pandemic, you all did real well financially. Some of you, amen, came by and gave large lumps of sum of money. Amen. Some of you sent large lump sums of money through uh, face, face, what you call that thing? A Giveify and, and, and Cash App and uh, you all have done it. What's the other thing we have? Um, PayPal. Amen. And and we've been we've been blessed. Amen. Amen. Kevin sitting back there paying his tithes like a champ. Amen. You know that. I'm not just calling his name out. Amen. But he's a young man. Amen. He could be spending his money on women <clears throat> and on other men. But he, he decided that <clears throat> he going to give his money. Amen. To the church. And, and do what's right by God. And because of that, amen, we got people that give and give and give. Amen. I especially thank God for a uh, pastor back there, uh, Dr. Watson. Amen. Amen. She's been out the net for a little bit. Amen. But she's been dutiful in giving this church uh, uh, donations to the church, giving God her tenth. Amen. I thank the Lord for you. And I'm calling your names out. Amen. Everyone who's been paying your tithes, God bless you. I may not have called your name out. The bland's been given. All of you all. We've got some. Look at sister, sister all the way from Williamsburg. Amen. You know who I'm talking about. That couple sitting right over there. I can't even think of it right now. Sister, that's right. Amen. Just, just been given. And you all are why we are still open today. Because you all gave. And you didn't have to do it. Some folk ain't gave nothing. I'm sorry, bad man. Haven't given. How's that? Some folk ain't. I've been eat bombing saying some folk ain't gave nothing. But I'm telling you, some folk have been given. And everyone out there that's you know you've been given. I'm talking to you. I may not have to call your name out, amen. But I thank God for this couple here. Thank God for Brother Wood and Mother Vera constantly giving. Amen. Sister Mitchell and Deacon Matthews. Amen. I just, everybody here, thank you so much. It makes me feel that you love me. It makes me feel that you love God most of all. Because you want to make sure that this ministry keep on. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to bring you to the table. Uh, Bishop Dawkins and Bishop King and Dawkins took over this church from a woman. It was a woman who started this church. So for anyone who got any problems with women preaching, me ahamida, me ahamida, that means I don't care if you don't believe. I know where the Lord had brought us from. I believe in women preaching. If it wasn't for a woman, my dad might not have been saved. Come on and say amen. Who are we to say that women can't do this and women can't do that? Man, come on. Man, please. Yes, sir. So I'm thankful for Bishop Gertrude Holloman. And we do not want this ministry to go down. We do not want to sell our church in New York. I personally don't. I ask God for it. He helped us to pay for it off. And if I should die tomorrow, you all know what Bishop's wishes are. If I die next week, you all know what Bishop Johnson's wishes were. That we keep that church. You got soldiers and men and women up there dying, needing a church, and God provided it.
So when you give your tithes and offerings, because they're not doing that well up there right now. The pastor's house just got burned down. All everything she had gone. So if you listen to this message today, Sweet Haven, for the members that used to be at Sweet Haven in New York, amen, have some compassion, have some love. Send some money to the church. Send it down to this church here. If you're in Mississippi and Georgia, amen, God helped us to build that church and we don't want Kmart coming soon. Send your gifts, Sweet Haven. Help Bishop Johnson keep the church in New York. Some of you all that got good jobs. Send some church money. Send some church money to the church. If you can't send it to New York, send it to Carrollton. Brother Nigel, put up. Where can they send it? Where can they send it? We got God bless you, Alcatraz and Jean. I mean, my God, Alcatraz and Beaches. God bless you, Amen. Thank you for coming. And they've been giving their offerings and sending their tithes to this church. Amen, Amen. Why? Because they're trying to help the ministry, and we don't have to beg people to help us. God has got a, a prophet that ain't even bowed down to Baal. How many of y'all know that? But I just want to shout out to you all today, those that were giving, those who are saying, I got Bishop's vision, and we're here to help you. Thank you, El Lowe. Brother Humphrey. God bless you. Y'all know he's getting ready to preach. Amen. He said, Pastor, Lord called me to preach. Amen. 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 He's learning. He's learning. He's learning now. He's just sitting back. Amen. He's like a. He's like one of those uh, vacuum cleaners, sucking up everything he can get. Amen. And he sees some stuff already in this church he doesn't like. Amen. But then there's a lot of stuff in this church that he does like, and that was those decisions you have to make. You have to weigh decisions. You're not gonna find a perfect church because none of us are perfect. Can I say that again? Amen. Amen. So let's work hard at keeping this church and the church in New York. It belongs to all of us. The church in New York does not belong to Ned and Sharon. It belongs to the Sweet Haven Holy Churches of God. And we need five more churches to join this work. I'm putting that out there. God bless you. I want to see seven churches a part of this thing before I die. Amen. God bless you. Okay, bow your heads. Gracious God, we thank you for this beautiful service that you had today. We thank you for Bert uh, playing. And thank God for Leonard playing. And thank God for the drummer. And we thank God for all those who have participated today. These young ladies and young men behind me singing under the anointing of God. Thank you for them also. I pray now as we give our gifts that we can do it with a heart full of love. Bless us now. And everybody in the building says, Lord, help us to give cheerfully in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Now, I want you all to stand and then face the wall and come and bring your gifts very quickly. And I don't want you to go home because we're going to give some money away. Come, come and give our gift.
for your givings all things. Fourth of July, you could have been barbecuing, uh, getting your potato salad ready. You know how we do on the Fourth of July. Uh, I think I'm going by Brother Humphrey's house first to eat. Then I'm gonna stop by Brother Barrel's house to eat, and then I think I'm gonna go by Deacon Matthew's house and get me a few plates. So if you come by my house, I'm not home. Mother Reveal, I'll be by there. I don't know what you cook, but we need to cook something. Amen. Amen. Don't be looking down. Don't be looking down. I, Amen. Amen. How many? I'm happy to see Diamond in the building today. Amen. I can't wait to get my own personal physical therapist. Amen. 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 It's time to, uh, in, in this branch of Zion, we believe in giving back to the pews and blessing others. Amen. Amen. It's good to see Mother Mitchell in the house with our, with our daughter. Amen. <laughs> God said he will glorify the meat with salvation, and I think Mother Mitchell got my part. Amen. All of it. All of it. Deacon Holloway, it's good to see you. Amen. He's still looking good. Looking for him a young wife. Amen. We, we want to give some money away. We want to be a blessing. We want to be a blessing. Amen. We want to be a blessing. Uh, so on, on, on yesterday, um, I took my wife and my daughter out to eat. Um, I, took, I took them on a date. Um, First of all, I want to be an example of, of, of to my daughter on how you should treat others, right? How you, how you should treat your wife. So we went out to eat. And I, and I told this young lady, I said, hey, look, I said, uh, I love Arnold Palmer's now. That's, that's not an alcoholic drink. That's just sweet tea and lemonade. And so I said, I love Arnold Palmer's, right? I said, if you keep it coming, I said, if you just keep them coming. And, and, and so uh, we, we finished eating, and she was watching me, watching every, every time my glass got empty, bam, she was right there. And so uh, it was time to leave and pay the bill. She gave me the bill, and, uh, and I paid it. And I, I didn't put a tip there. I didn't, I didn't write a tip in the tip comment section. She said, just the genuine as it all could be out, she said, you know what, uh, thank you so much. I said, you're welcome. I said, you're more than welcome. I said, it was a great service. And so on, on the way out the door, um, uh, I slipped something to her, right? And uh, she didn't look at it. She just stuck it in her pocket, right? Uh, but when we was walking in the car, she, she looked at it. And she was in the window just going crazy, you know what I'm saying? And, and she was trying to catch me. But uh, we kept going. And my daughter said, Dad, why, why did you do that? I said, sometimes when you're blessed, you got to be a blessing to others. So, uh, so I, I said that this, I said all of that to say this. I, I've never seen God come down and pay anybody bills, but I see Him work through the man of God. So what, what He started here, helping everyone to live prosperously. If we could catch on to that, if we can catch on to that, uh, there, 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 there's a multitude of what, of the things that we can do. And so we want to want to be a blessing, just not only to the ministry, but be a blessing to others. And how can we be a blessing to others through our blessed giveaway? Do anyone have the basket? Blessed giveaway. I bless it giveaway. I'm gonna see. Can I get too strong, man? Can I get our brother Barrow and and our uh, 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 soon Minister Humphrey give me a hand this morning with our blessed giveaway? So, so what what we do here is uh, our pastor have these envelopes that on the on these envelopes it says helping everyone live prosperously. Amen? Amen. Helping everyone live prosperously, and that's what we're looking to do this morning. We just want to be a blessing. And so the ushers are passing out the envelopes. You got to be 18 years of older in order to participate. And so as you fill out your envelope, I ask you to practice social distances, but come drop your givings into the basket. Amen.
So what you say? Participated. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for the vision that you've given the man of God, Father God, to help everyone live prosperously, Father God. Now, as these your people in this branch of Zion have sawn into this basket, Father God, let the name that we pour, Father God, let, the, let it be of good use, Father God, whatever they need and stand in need of. We ask you to do it for them right now. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. As Brother Humphrey raised your hands, look, no, only one hand, only one hand. Look at me, face me, face me. Put your hand inside the basket while you're stirring it up. Stirring it up in the name of Jesus. Sister Beatrice Johnson. Amen. Put your hand in the air, looking at me. Put it in the basket. Take it out. Put it down. Put it up one more time. Amen. Put it down. Feel like you're at home, right? Stir it up real good. In the name of Jesus. Dr. Patty Passy Watson. Amen. If you need a realtor, if you need a, 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 a doctor, you got it all in one stop. God bless you, woman of God. Amen. And she blessed the chapman. To God be the glory. All right. All right. Uh, put your hand in the basket. We're going to do something a little different today. All right. One, one more time. Put your hand in the basket. Stir it up real good. Let me get that name. In the name of Jesus. Oh, there's your name on this one. Can you put it back? In the name of Jesus. something a little different this morning. We're, we're, we're going to do something a little different. No, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, no, no. She, she got, a, she got a different blessing. She, she got a different blessing. Go, go ahead and receive your blessing. You got, you got a whole different blessing. Amen. We doing something. We doing a little, little, little something different this morning. Yeah, huh? No, I'm pulling a. Oh yeah, I need those back in there. 
I'm, I'm going to tell you what we're doing this morning, Bishop. We're, we're, we're paying bills this morning. We're, we're paying bills this morning. That's, that's what we're doing today. We're going we're gonna to pay some bills. Amen. Put your hand in there one more time. It's a break from the regular program. Stir them in. Give, 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 give me in the name of Jesus. Brother Rob, Deacon Robert Goods. Come on up, come on up, come on up. So we're we gonna pay Deacon uh, Good card note this, this month, amen? In the name of Jesus. Deacon Joseph Holloway. Hey, Deacon, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something a little different for you, Deacon. You hold on to your envelope. Give, give me one more. In the name of Jesus. Sister Ruth Murray. electric bill amen amen we're done and one more name one more name for the big drop in the name of jesus mother mother reveal mother sharon reveal Just can I, can I have a moment of just transparency. My, my wife and I, we're, we're, we're better than blessed, right? We're, we're better than blessed. Um, and I was just looking over this morning and I was at my dinner table, we were at my breakfast table and I was, I was thinking, I was like, man, for a little country boy from Alabama, you haven't done too bad for yourself. But what it is to have nothing and not be able to share. So in the spirit of giving, the Bible says he will open up a window and pour you out a blessing that you have no room to receive it. So for me, he didn't open up a window, he opened up a door. And so I, I want us to catch that spirit here. It don't necessarily have to be monetary. Sometimes give up your time. Give up yourself to one another. We're saying that we want to be, we want to be heirs and joint heirs of the kingdom. We got to have a kingdom mindset. And what is the kingdom mindset? Is that God can do any and everything that we can begin to even imagine. Because we serve a great, big God. Amen. If you want school paid for, he can pay for your school. We just got to have that mindset. That mindset. That mindset. That mindset. Let's change our mindset. Let's start walking into what God has called us to walk into. Amen. Amen. Our pastor. Like the dew in the morning. Like the
know uh, Deacon Matthews, today is first Sunday. We're going to do our communion real quick. Not real quick. We're going to do our communion. We was going to do it next Sunday, but we don't know who came today to get communion. Amen? So we're going to go ahead and do our communion. Amen? It's not going to take long. You, want, you can sit down if you want, but we're going to... He remind me of our communion. I have forgot it. I'm sorry. Charge it to my head, not my heart. Okay. The blood. The blood. That you is the strength. We found two lines to from at this time. Lord, we thank you for this first Sunday of another month. God, you have blessed us all the year. Now, God, we ask you to right now to change this from a natural youth to a spiritual youth. God has been in partake on your Lord's Supper. God, bless anyone that's sick in their body in the hospitals right now, God. Yes, Lord. And the family members, Lord, we ask you to go there and touch them. Right now, if we drink this communion and eat this bread, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. The Bible says they broke the bread. Let us all eat together. Let us all drink together. Coming round to put your 
containers in the Bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Uh, we, we, we're so happy for you. And we're going to make sure that next time we'll have, amen, your bread so that some of y'all even eat your bread. Amen. Because you couldn't get your bread out of your packet. Amen. But that's okay. The blood is the most important thing. Amen. No shedding of blood. There will be no admission of sin. Amen. So thank you so much for participating in communion. Amen. God bless you. Look, um, this coming Thursday evening is our Bible study. And I need to see more people from our church on our Zoom. Amen. You can pull it up on your smartphone. Amen. You can pull it up off on your internet. But I need to see more of you all, please, to come on Bible study. Questions asked, where's all y'all members? Amen. All our members, amen, is doing what they want to do. Amen. So we need your help. Show your faith on Bible study on Thursday evening. We're not coming back here for Bible study. The reason for that is because we're going to start everything starting January like it used to be, but we don't want to do it right now. So that's why we're doing it Zoom and all that right now. So please, ma'am, please, sir, if y'all would, amen, tune in every evening at Thursday, on Thursday evening at 7 o'clock, we're doing Bible study. Amen? And this coming, this coming Thursday night is going to be someone else teaching Bible study. Amen. So we want to see your face. Amen. Out there. Amen. God bless you. Uh, uh, Dr. Watson, thank you so much for coming. You got anything to say? You, you have a word? You got a nugget? Okay. All right. God bless you. Amen. Mr. So Overton back there. God bless you. I love you. Amen. To Deacon Johnson and his wife again for sharing us. Uh, Pastor Mary. Amen. Thank you so much for being with us on today also. God bless you. Now we're going to close. Good to see you. Put your right hand in the air and says, Lord, Lord cover, us cover us with your blood. Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Tell somebody you love them. Amen. Love them. Amen.